We're following up on the revelation earlier this week that Rochester leaders made a conscious decision to allow several construction projects downtown all at the same time. A combination of projects mixed with the effects of the pandemic have forced many downtown Rochester shops to have to close their doors. And as our Alex Tejada uh, joins us live to explain the ones still in business remain quite concerned. Alex. Tom, Caitlin, currently there are two separate major projects going on downtown. An improvement to the sewer system, which I'm being told should be completed in the next few weeks, and the heart of the city project here at Peace Plaza, which is going to be taking until next summer to finish. And I think it was a good idea to get that done now during the pandemic uh, on Peace Plaza so that uh, post-pandemic we aren't going to uh, have businesses be hurt again and again. However, the construction has taken away parking spots for restaurants like City Market. Well, you know, we were already down. And they now feel as if they've been kicked. Customers are having a hard time even finding City Market. I'm like, just stay where you are and I'll bring the food to you, you know. The decline of takeout orders has been offset by one customer base. Mayo has brought back some people and so we're getting deliveries and that's a big part of our business is deliveries. Others have had to rely on online sales and repeat buyers. They complain about how hard it was to get here, but they're happy once they get here. So. And while the sewer project will be done in a few weeks, it's the Peace Plaza work that has Tangerine's owner the most concerned. We're scared to death of winter. Because winter, people don't want to walk to the stores. Signs have helped some customers find the stores that are open, but they're not overcoming the impact of the road work and detours. I mean, it's affected all of us. You know, I mean, the loop, you know about, you know, the closing and stuff. It's, it's, it's um, scary. While these projects have been talked about for a while, the mayor believes things could be done a little differently next time. Each department talk to each other a little better about when their project is and coordinate it. Yeah, I think uh, in hindsight that would have been nice to do. Um, but again, you know, that's outside of certainly my control and you know, something we need to, to really do better at as a city moving ahead. The mayor says the city will try to help businesses with funds and breaks when it comes to licensing fees, but says that businesses outside the downtown area are struggling as well. For now, store owners are hoping customers are willing and able to find them through this maze. Live in Rochester, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. Important to support those downtown businesses. Absolutely. Thank you, Alex. And a Rochester land.